Hello everyone and what is going on? Hyperion Blue GT here. Welcome back to Gran Turismo 7 Part 54. It's been one year later after having a very best celebration to the first anniversary to Gran Turismo 7. I know so much big excited content updates that has new and returning cars is going to be quite very good to be well amazed. After from the February 2023 update, recently to have 5 cars including 2 different variations of the Italic Design Xenio Vision Gran Turismo with a street and off-road mode version along with a new track Grand Valley Highway 1. So maybe I should probably have to take one quick detour before going in to have two courses in circuit experience. Maybe I should probably have to start up to be at Autodromo de Interlagos and Walkton's Glen International. After all, because times of changes and putting up with some preparation as I'm about to go over to have a very good best full walkthrough video as I'm about to be continuing on in the fourth part in the Americans of circuit experience. I can't say because it is going to be so very fantastic to have four courses to be adding up to have a very good moment out there after clear from the last video in part 53. After all because two courses to be on the dirt and Daytona International Speedway is absolutely doing great and putting up with some different perspective after currently to be marked onto the gold record by the Egyptians. But it takes hard work of exercise to have a main objective to be on the goal. So now, gonna have to be moving on to have a very good, excellent moment to take part for having one course to be in the Brazilian racetrack in Autodromo de Interlacos. Using for the Nissan GTR Nismo GT3 in the 2013 model, but not to mention as the 2018 model to the same GTR will be exclusive to be take part in Grand Valley Highway 1 as a circuit experience. So let's get ready to go and be sure or having a 15 second overlay to be on a reminder but not to mention because it will have to take a very good reminder to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay here we go. Four sectors including one lap time attack will be driving with the 2013 Nissan GTR Nismo GT3 it is going to be a very good best moment out there since Gran Turismo Sport. Sector 1 that has a gold record objective to be at 23.5 seconds. Sector 2, 16.6 seconds. Sector 3, 24.6 seconds as we're about to currently to be moved forward on to Sector 4 that has 38.1 seconds. After clear all four sectors, one lap attack is going to get much more currently to go harder, much more faster to be at the goal objective time in one minute. 35.7 seconds is now currently to have a mark on the goal for the objective. So let's get ready up and have this very good best first corner to be coming down onto the Senna S and Curva du Sol. I'm so very pumped up you guys after having a long wait for having two parts of the live streaming video because you might gonna have to check it out whenever you're welcome at any time. So whenever you might have to take the first sector to be going down onto turn number one and proceed onto turn number two at the center S's, make your way and go hard left to be at turn number three at the Curva du Sol. Watch for the demonstration and gonna have to keep driving in. Go record and one solid piece of cake. That's one sector clear, only three more to go. But not to mention because just going to be on the lookout for this part of the video content that has skipping part interruption that has 2 or 3 seconds as a recording glitch. So let's have a good check on the replay because one preview before moving on in the next sector to see how mastering in the center S and Kuba do so in turn number 1 through turn number 3. See how the demonstration is going to have to go for the example to have a very good exact speed handling and mobility when going down into the center S before proceed on to turn number 3. Okay there you go. Looks like replay saved to be going well demonstration for the example to be adding up on my diary log. So let's go on to sector 2. This will be a challenging blind corner to be going in on to turn number 4 and 5. 
So be on the lookout to avoid getting off the track if you're going to have to make a good perfect position to be on the breaking point when you're on turn number 4 and step up the gas and go proceed to be at turn number 5. So let's see how the demonstration will have to go for doing a one best second time cigarette experience since GT Sport. Alright, here comes the turn number 4. Just gonna go by the apex, have that position to go right over there. Moving on in, take turn 5, make a good push. And 16 seconds is now going clear by a piece of cake that add a decimal in 0.161 seconds. Sector 2 clear, and gold record objective is now currently to be marked as well. I can't say because this part of the video segment that I should probably have to go for only two racetrack in the circuit experience will have to do much more detour ever since from Grand Valley Highway 1 was added to the game. Just going to skip the replay, just to be, well, reminder, duration comes in to have a different count. Let's go to Sector 3. So you see, this is where turn 6, 7, 8 through 9, and just going to go forward to be stopped at turn number 10 that has two hairpins is going to be quite very different to be well tricky. Drive like having a very di different role as a consecutive corner, so you might gonna have to get much more piece of cake and go oversteer when you're driving in a group three category. Let's go for the hook cam. Time it begins. Here's turn six. Going hard, steady right. Make a good RPM acceleration to have a good left side position to have the first hairpin before coming in onto turn number eight. Also for turn number 9, you might gonna have to step up and do the same pattern just like turn number 8 like last time. So here it is, gold record clear in 24.112 seconds is now officially to be at as an ordinary first attempt clear by this sector. Piece of cake, dirt times the charm, dirt times the gold effort without any different attempts. Now let's go on to be proceed at Sector 4. This is where you can start up to have a continuation on to turn number 9 before coming in on to turn 10 at the third hairpin before proceed on to turn 11 to turn 12. For having a final corner, that would be a very good best advantage we'll be going proceed to be at the curve straightaway. Better be sure to pack up the RPM because you might need to have a good enough speed to improve your time. So focusing on the gold record objective to be at 38.1 seconds is going to be a very excellent important racing objective whenever you might have to take a good insight of the apex like this. Alright, piece of cake. Just going to go enter, proceed on to the third and final sector. Turn lap, going clear. Follow the yellow highlight whenever it takes. Alright, very good. Looks like I'm going way up ahead, away from the ghost car. Alright, there you go. Simple is that. Goal record cleared in 37.138 seconds is now achieved in Sector 4. Just like last time, ever since we've been mastered at Daytona International Speedway for the 2018 Ford GT LM race car. Alright, so looks like four times the replay. Just gonna have to go proceed as always. Position number two to be well clear onto the France ranking. But good thing Noob just did a good job out there to have 36.982 seconds. So let's do this and be ready for having a one lap time attack we'll be course around in Interlagos to get everything what you got. Only one Brazilian racetrack in the game because this is going to be a very good best crowd effort for every Brazilian Gran Turismo players out there to master it and find the perfect line to go at it. Here comes turn number one and two coming down at the center S but this time, I'm about to go chase the ghost car. We'll have to go push up to be on the main offense by the strategy. 
Here comes turn number four. Moving on in sector two. Make a good solid formation. Use the apex. Just like that. And gonna have to go proceed forward as possible. Alright, very good. Just to be clear as simple. Now for the third hairpin to stop at turn 10. Okay, that's the ticket. Now for sector 3. Make that good final corner to go proceed. Alright, looks like very good excellent upper hand advantage to go for a goal. 1 minute 33.303 seconds is now achieved for having one lap time attack. Yes, looks like I truly own the course in Interlagos, you guys. One proud Brazilian racetrack is a very good, excellent handling opportunity to go faster for the 2013 Nissan GTR Nismo GT3. Gonna have to save a replay for another time. And very good job to have a main progression is gonna be quite very improvement to have a very good best time. Time to exit out. 54,000 credits is now combined. <laughs> 54,000 credits is now being all together to be combined. And there it goes. Clear to be all bronze and gold to have 1.2 million credits. It was a very good, excellent circuit experience without any attempts, just like racing in Mount Panorama Motor Racing Circuit from Australia in Asia Oceania track. After all, one Brazilian racetrack in GT7, so now gonna have to get back onto USA and head on over to be in the East Coast at Watkins Glen International for having another part in circuit experience. After all, as a promise, as I'm about to be ready to move on, in part 55 in the next video, we'll have to go over to be at Michelin Raceway, Road Atlanta, and Grand Valley Highway 1 will have to be well planned and go exactly to have two race course at a time. For this part of the circuit experience, according to the new track in Watkins Glen International from 2022, Taking a long course session by using the Genesis XGR3 is now going to be featured to have three sectors including one lap time attack. So I hope I can probably have to get myself prepared and feel the tryout for the South Korean GT race car is so very brand new to the game. After all because Genesis is also to be served as a South Korean manufacturer brand to be racing up to be part in the manufacturer's cup. So I hope it is because this will be my first time ever to be driving with a Genesis XGR3 in circuit experience. For sector 1 that has 12.2 seconds to be currently to have the first turn and going in for having a short distance at the straightaway. By moving on in sector 2, it has 42.2 seconds to be currently to have a bus stop will be included. But after all because there will be a hairpin will be coming in to have a finish line towards in before moving on in sector 3 that has 39.5 seconds to be currently to be marking the goal all at once. But also to have 1 minute when taking a 1 lap time attack 1 minute 47.1 seconds is going to be the final step to be mastered in Watkins Glen International to be on the long course. So let's go and be prepared to have a one quarter distance to be coming in onto the first turn. It will be a piece of cake, but I'm sure of it. It will be a very good piece of cake to be driving with the Genesis XGR3. Gonna have to go and enter the first turn. Watch the pace, follow the apex and find a good line. Okay, not so bad. 
gold record cleared in 11.893 seconds. Let's have a good check on the replay, folks. Maybe I just did a first attempt to do a perfect best moment out there. Alright, looks like pull the brake on to turn number one. Make a good short straightaway at the finish line. Very impressive. Another replay just to be saved and will plan to be put up on to third position in a friend's ranking. So let's go on to sector 2 to beat the time in 42.2 seconds to master the bus stop chicane. It will be a very tough tricky turn as we're about to be currently to go enter to be skip on to be at turn number 2 before going up the hill on to turn number 3. So let's give it a go and have the first attempt in number 2 of the sector. Pull that brake. Don't get caught by ignore the track limit. Looks like I'm going a little bit far behind from the ghost car. Gonna have to make a good simple push. Alright, there you go. Make a good position onto the armpit. Hairpin coming in. Pull the brake and gonna have to step it up and keep a good steady balance at the go. Now, I kind of think this might be a very good excellent tip strategy. So you might gonna have to push your way and enter at the bus stop before you're gonna have to step it up and keep a good RPM distance. Otherwise, you might gonna have to end up in silver that has an average of a decimal in 0.772 seconds. Maybe I should probably have to save a replay just to be well spared and go again for attempt number two. So let's try this again and see how it turns out. So you see, this is where the hard part before entering in the bus stop is a very tricky strategy. But don't get yourself too much distraction. All you might need to do is gonna have to focus the track and master this corner to be entered at the bus stop. Just like that, coming in to have that next part of the corner before going in to have a very good hairpin to be on the main turn. Alright, so, new record, same silver to be at 0.397 seconds. Gonna have to keep working hard because the bus stop chicane is a very tricky corner for myself. Alright, just gonna make one single push. Coming through, nail that apex to have the outside to go for the inside of the inner and outer loop. Splend a good course. Dive in onto the armpit. Stay steady and gonna have to go forward to be on the main chute. Hairpin on the way. Absolutely good. Goal clear ever to have 42.030 seconds. Well, I kind of say because it wasn't so very hard to have that inner loop and outer loop all together to have this part of the corner session when you're racing in Walkton's Glen. For this part of the example, because you might gonna have to step it up and go enter into the inner loop part of the bus stop before coming in to take the outer loop. Have that right corner turn to go enter to have a very good excellent shoot position right next onto the corner to aim towards to have a stopping position to make a good usage on the inside. Very good job to have a good straightaway to have a very good hairpin to be on the way.
hard tough effort to be on the inside and outside to be on the inner and outer loop. Fourth place to be on the France ranking and here comes the third and final sector in number three. 39.5 seconds folks. Just going to push up and go hard to have the last few turns before coming in to have the final stretch to be stopped at turn number 11. So let's get ready to roll and have the next part of the turn. We'll go for the right corner. Alright, so very average and very good. Let the ghost car go in. And I'll have to go for the upper hand. This one is turn number 10. Almost there to have turn 11. We'll be at the final corner to go on the way. Okay, well, not so bad. But it had to make much hard effort to be mastered in turn number 9 and 10 in the track. Well, it turns out to becoming very challenging after taking some several attempts and always being on the silver in 39.543 seconds after I just cleared to be updated on the record. But looks to me because having the last 4 turns in sector 3 is a very tough one to overcome by many obstacles to go at it. But I'm still learning because it'll have to go through and have a good usage to be on the main pace. But speaking of which, because having the last two turns is going to be a very tough to handle. Just like this, and just going to have to stay focused with a ghost car before coming in to take the final stretch. There. Just like that. And just going to have to go hard to have 39.366 seconds to be well clear for my new record. Okay, replay save just to be planned and a reminder so I could probably have to go moving on to take part in the one lap time attack. So you see, this is where having one lap time attack to be mastered in the long course layout in Watkins Glen International is a very tough one. Sector 1 is going to be a very good piece of cake. Sector 2 will be face up and go for the inner loop and outer loop to be on the medium. And for Sector 3, make a very hard effort to make it for the last. So here I go ladies and gentlemen. This will be a very difficult lap time challenge to go hard for the goal. Time it begins now and here comes the first turn. Gonna have to be extra careful because I almost had that very good perfection on the first sector of the turn. Going up onto turn two, make a good forward to be on turn number three before coming in towards the inner loop after taking turn number four. So it looks like this is where the breaking position is about to go hard to be at it. Let's dive in onto the bus stop to be on the inner loop session of this part of the corner. Go for the outer loop, slow it down, and keep a good foot on the gas to have a good position to be finding a good line. Going down to the chute, make a good stop at the inside of the apex. Watch your pace, watch your time, and watch every part of the corner so you might gonna have to learn these parts of skills and do these part of the experience. Looks like my calculation is going to be exactly 1.5 seconds by around by the numbers. Sector 3 gives me my concerns. I'm about to get a little bit worried. Slow down might be giving a disadvantage. Here comes the final sector. Looks like taking the last two turns is going to be a very tough to handle. Sprint to the finish. Seven seconds. We'll be counting out and ticking. So very far close to have a good goal record. Now I have to go again for attempt number two after clear from one minute, 47.250 seconds. 
I should probably have to go harder to be at it. So very close, and I almost had that good, brilliant chance. So let's try this again, and gonna have to go perfect to be at the first turn. Alright, not too shabby. Just gonna have to keep a good steering position to go balanced. Practice makes perfect. Always gonna have to be sure to make one single goal objective whenever you're gonna have to make a good successful achievement. So here I come. Going back onto the inner loop. Proceed onto the outer loop. Hang on. Going down onto the chute before I take the hairpin is gonna have to take a one way ticket onto sector three is gonna be a very hard to handle. Okay, looks like my previous ghost car is still currently to go well behind. Just like that, and just gonna go for the example about the replay I just recently saved before skipping the part before proceed onto the one lap time attack. But here comes the final sector, it's gonna be now or never. Push the gas, coming in, time is on the rush. There. Just the only gold record objective is what I need. A minute, 46.878 seconds is now going clear and achieve the gold lap attack. Yep, looks like I just truly own Walkton's Glen International to master the track. After all, because it will have to be more challenging since we've been participating for having a lap time challenge by using the 2019 Chevy Corvette C7 CR1. But good thing I just barely did a good remember back then because it's a very good proud American hypercar is going to be a very good, much more F bar layout to be well faster to be driven. So you might gonna have to watch the replay, so you might have to see how my progress is doing well for taking one lap around the track. But it takes main progression for having three parts of the sectors depends on three different types of difficulty. But this one in sector two is going medium to be mastered into the inner loop and go towards the outer loop is gonna have to be much more hard ever to have a good perfect line position as sector three is gonna be a very hard to handle to be doing some next part onto the last four turns in this sector. So the chute is clear. Now for the hairpin to be going proceed and make a good elevation to do a little hill climb. The camera view looks so very good to see the examples. Now going for the straight. Here comes the final sector. It's going to be a very tough to handle to go proceed onto the right turn. First turn in sector 3 clear. Now for the left turn on to sector 3. But it needs more work. But here comes the last two turns. We'll go on the left and the final corner will be at the right. Just like that, make a good usage to be entered onto the pit line, for example. And that's how you should master one track in the long course in Walkton's Glen is all about mastering every part of the sectors to be well achieved to be marking gold. But good job for myself and perfect moment to have part 54 will be set to get closer towards the end. Let's exit and help myself to have 48,000 credits to be well earned. Three star roulette ticket is complete. 200,000 credits earned in bronze and gold to be adding up to be exactly in 1 million credits. I almost there to be clear in America's 
as part of the circuit experience before moving on in the European regions before gonna have to be ready to wrap this up at the end of the video. By coming up in part 55, I'll be racing in Michelin Raceway, Will Atlanta, and Grand Valley Highway 1 will be continuing on as well to be using with the Volkswagen Beetle Group 3 and the 2018 Nissan GTR Nismo GT3. So I hope I could probably have to get ready to have a very tough effort to be racing in Europe. 15 racetrack location is going to be a very tough one to be well embraced before proceed on to menu book number 39 in the GT Championship Series for the number 10. One year later, because I'm still going to have to work hard and going to have to be prepared to have some more currency credits, it's going to be a best one ever yet. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video in Gran Turismo 7. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for a like, comment, and click the bell for notification on upcoming content videos in the later future. I'll be seeing you guys next time on Gran Turismo 7, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Keep on racing, stay clean.